The mystery of the obscene little Hampton letters is causing widespread distress across the nation. Sometimes real life is weirder than fiction. This story was a perfect example of that. True story, and it was debated in Parliament in all yeah. the broadsheets every week. The whole country was reading it. Edith Swan lives with her mum and dad. Edith starts getting obscene, anonymous letters. It's shocking. They are incredibly um, insulting. Full of swearing. Everyone assumes it's Rose Gooding. Living next door yeah. with a potty mouth. Yeah. She says it's not her. Off we go. Everyone knows it's her love ever since she got off that boat. It was quite wild realising it was true. Like, my character ended up going to prison for these letters. Why would I be doing that? I just kind of read it back. I was like, because <laughs> it just sounded so ridiculous. <laughs> this happened. Oh, so the person does this. Oops. It was really important to keep going back to the fact that this is a real story set in a real place at a real time. If you want <gasps> in the nose, you old beetle. Beetle. Right. <laughs> the whole nation was kind of going crazy. The ever-growing scandal of the Little Hampton Letters. This story's genius is sort of putting one foot into the past and then one foot in the now and the timelessness of it as a modern story. There's a hierarchy in the police, love. Yes, sir. It is a period piece that isn't trying to be modern, it just is. And we forget that there was an old social media. It was called writing a letter. And the letters were just very funny. Edith Swan takes it up the swanny and she loves it. Oh, right, man. <laughs> Think a film like this. It's always fun because of the words, because of the real story. In the bones of it, there's a dramatic human journey. I hope it'll be slightly shocking, but it is, it's really funny. <laughs> and audiences do like a bit of a swear. The fact that this vituperative, filthy language bursts out of this button-down world, this is what makes it very, uh, hopefully, funny. Say that again, say it again. F*** <laughs> off, you pasty old, crusty old, piss-bearded f***ing old... <laughs> I think. Mean,